hello students welcome back to engineers academy do subscribe my channel if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem which says that the truss is used to support the loading shown determine the required cross-sectional area of the member bc if the allowable normal stress is 24 ksi so as we know that the normal stress is or we can say that the allowable normal stress will be equal to the force applied on member BC divided by the cross-sectional area of member BC. So we can say A of BC and this is given that this is equal to 24 KSI. So 24 into 10 raised to the power 3 pound per inch square. KSI is 24 into 10 to the power 3 pound per inch square remember so we want to find the area the cross-sectional area of member BC so in order to find uh, the cross-sectional area of that member BC we must find the force applied on member BC so for that um, we must apply the engineering statics concept of uh, structure analysis in order to find that FBC the force applied on member BC so first of all we are going to consider the whole truss this is the free body diagram of this given truss and since at A we have the pin support so we will have two support reactions we will have AX and we will have AY and at D we have the roller support so we will have only one reaction so let's say that we have AX in the horizontal direction this will be AX you will have AY and we will have DY so I am going to solve this problem by using by using the method of sections so what I will do is that I will pass a cutting section here and I will cut this member EF member CF and member BC I will expose this member BC and then I will apply the equilibrium conditions to find the force in member BC so if you want to consider this side of the cut section then we only need to find dy and in order to find dy we can apply the sum of the moment about point a so if we apply the sum of the moment about point a we will be able to eliminate this ax and ay and that will enable us to find dy so what we are going to do is that we are going to apply the sum of the moment about point a that must be equals to zero and the counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive so we can say that this dy is producing the counterclockwise moment about point a so we can say plus dy and the moment arm of this dy from that point a is this distance and this distance we, we have to find this distance which is the moment arm of this dy so as you guys can see that here this a this af mem the the, this the distance from a to f is 6 plus 6 this is 12 feet and these two af members they are making 45 degree with the horizontal so if we look into this we are having a right angle triangle here so then this will be 12 cos of 45 from here to here this is 12 cos of 45 and similarly on that side this is 12 cos of 45 as well so we can say that this length this length is 12 cos of 45 and this length is 12 cos of 45 since this is also 45 degree so we can say that the moment arm of dy from that point a is 2 times 12 cos of 45 so we can say that this is 2 times so 2 times 12 cos of 45 is uh, let me write it as 2 times 12 cos of 45 similarly this 800 newton force is producing the clockwise moment so we will write minus 800 and again as you guys can see that the perpendicular distance or the moment arm of this 800 newton force from that point a is this distance and again this distance is 12 cos of 45 so this distance is 12 cos of 45 again this is 800 into 12 cos of 45 and remember that this unit is in feet this is in feet since these units are given in feet similarly this um, 400 pound force is producing the clockwise moment about point a and this 400 pound force is acting perpendicular to these two members 
So this means that the perpendicular distance or the moment arm of this 400 pound force from that point A is this distance which is equal to 6 feet. So we can say that the 400 pound force is producing the clockwise moment minus 400 and the moment arm of 400 pound force is 6 feet and this is equal to 0. Now we want to find dy we can say that dy will be equal to plus 800 into 12 cos of 45 plus 400 into 6 divided by 2 into 12 cos of 45. Now this will be equal to 800 into 12 cos of 45 plus 400 into 6 divided by 2 into 12 cos of 45. This gives me dy equals to 541.42 and this will be in pounds. As you guys can see the units of this is in pound feet plus pound feet. So the numerator is having pound feet units and the denominator is having units of feet. So feet feet cancels out and we are left with the units of pounds. So now dy is equal to uh, 541.42 pounds. Now after finding dy we are going to pass a cutting section here. We have to erase the left hand side of the cut section. So for that So this is, you guys can see, this is FBC. This one is force on CF. And this is force EF. So now this is our free body diagram. Now we know dy. dy has a magnitude of 541.42 pounds. Now we want to find FBC. As you guys can see, that that this is our point F and these two forces are passing through that point F. So if they are passing through that point F and if you find the moment about that point F, so these two forces, they are not going to produce the moment about that point F because they are passing through that point F. So if we apply the sum of the moment about point F, then these two forces will not come into our equation and we will have FBC as the only one unknown force. So now if we apply the sum of the moment about point F, that must be equals to zero. Counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive. Now as you guys can see that this FBC, this is producing the clockwise moment about that point F. So I will write minus FBC and the moment arm of this FBC from that point F is this distance. So we must find this distance. So as you guys can see that using this right angle triangle, we can find this distance. Let's say this point is x. Let me draw that right angle triangle here. So we are having this right angle triangle like this. So we can say, let's say that this point is point P. So FP distance, this FP length is this 12 sine of 45 so 12 sine of 45 and similarly if if we use this right angle triangle then this length will be a b sine of 30 degrees because a b is making 30 degrees so we can say that this length is a b uh, let me write that this is uh, this point is let's say p dash so we can say let me write that fp length is 12 sine of 45 then we can say that b p dash length is a b a b length is not known but this will be a b sine of 30 degrees and you guys can see that we are interested to find this length from here to here. So that length is, you guys can see that length will be equal to Fp minus this length. So we can say that the moment arm 
of BC, let's say that moment arm is, let's say, D. So we can say that D, which is the moment arm of FBC, is equal to FP, FP minus BP dash. But in BP dash, we do not know AB. But as you guys can see that here, we have this right angle triangle. And this angle is 45 and this is 30. So this angle will be 15 degrees. So you guys can see that we are having a right angle triangle here where the angle is 30 de uh, 15 degrees here. So let me draw that triangle. This length is 6 feet. This is point A. And this is... This is that right angle triangle. This is that point B. This angle is 30. This angle is 45. This angle is 45 minus 30, 15 degrees. We want to find AB length. So if this is 15 degrees, then if we apply cos of 15 degree, so we can say that if we apply cos of 15 degree to this right angle triangle, this is the 90 degree angle. So we can say that cos of 15 is the base. So for this degree angle, this is the base. So 6 divided by the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse is AB. So we can say that AB is equal to 6 divided by cos of 15. Now we will be able to find this, this BP dash. So we can say that BP dash is basically uh, AB, which is 6 divided by cos of 15 into sine of 30. We can find that A length, uh, AB length. This is that AB. So AB is 6 divided by cos of 15. This gives us AB length is 6.2 one two feet and this is obvious that a b length must be greater than this six feet so this is 6.212 feet now putting the all these values in this equation we can say that the moment arm of the force fbc which is d is equal to fp and fp is 12 sine of 45 minus bp dash which is 6 sine of 30 divided by cause of 15 this equation so d is equal to 12 sine of 45 minus 6 sine of 30 divided by cause of 15 this gives us d feet. So now the moment arm of FBC, we can say that FBC 5.379. And now this dy is producing uh, the counterclockwise moment. So we will write plus dy. dy magnitude is 441.42. And the moment arm of this dy from that point f is this length this horizontal length this is the moment arm of dy so as we know that from d to f this length is 12 feet this angle is 45 then this length is 12 cos of 45 just like this triangle right so from that side this is 12 cos of 45 so we can say that this is 12 cos of 45 this is equal to 0 so from this we can say that minus FBC is this is equal to and if we divide both sides by minus sign we can say that FBC if I divide both sides of equation by this uh, 5.379 so we will be able to find FBC so let me write like this divided by 5.379 379 and remember that this is in pounds this is in feet this is in feet so we'll be left with the units of pounds 
So if BC is equal to 541.42 multiplied by 12 cos of 45 divided by 5.379. This gives me 854. So we can say that if BC is 854.08, 854.08 pounds. Now once we find this FBC, then we know from this equation that FBC divided by, we can say FBC divided by area of BC, which is unknown, is equal to, to we can say that this is equal to, or we can say that 854.08 FBC divided by area of BC is equal to the allowable normal stress which is 24 KSI or 24 into 10 raised to the power 3 pound per inch square. Now this is in pounds remember so the force FBC is in pounds. So if I multiply both sides of equation with ABC or you guys can see if I cross multiply so we can say that ABC will be equal to 854.08 pound 24 into 10 to the power 3 pound per inch square. Pound will cancel out and we will be left with the units of inch square. So this equation will give us the area in inch square. So we can say that 854.08 divided by 24 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 this gives me area BC 0 0.0356 inch square. You guys can see here we are left with the units of 1 divided by inch square. So in the numerator this will become inch square. So for the allowable normal stress of 24 KSI the area of BC member, the cross sectional area of BC member must be uh, 0 0.0356 inch square. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler.